Good morning, everyone. Um, I want to thank my co-authors and sages for the opportunity to present our work today. We'll be discussing modern trends in minimally invasive versus open hepatectomy for colorectal liver metastases. And the only disclosure I have is that this is the work of the authors and not the Department of Defense. So it's well understood that complete um, curative surgical resection is the best opportunity for prolonged survival for patients with colorectal liver metastases. And uh, resection eligibility has expanded in recent years with both improvements in perioperative management, but also technical advancements such as parenchymal sparing hepatectomy. And minimally invasive approaches that we've been discussing today are increasingly being used. Um, however, existing literature characterizing the trends in operative approach in the context of tumor-specific characteristics over the last decade is lacking. So in this context, we sought to characterize modern trends in an open versus MIS approach to parenchymal sparing and anatomic hepatectomy for colorectal liver mets within a nationwide cohort. So we queried the ACS NISQIP database for the years 2015 to 2019, as well as the hepatectomy participant user file. Uh, we compared minimally invasive and open approaches um, in the context of clinical pathologic features, as well as treatments, and also analyzed specific trends of treatments over the years, which we can see here. So we ultimately uh, found 7,457 patients which met our inclusion criteria. And what we found was that minimally invasive patients were significantly more likely to receive a partial hepatectomy as their principal operative procedure. Um, and this was also for um, smaller as well as fewer tumors. Minimally invasive resections were also less likely to receive new adjuvant therapy, um, have a concurrent partial hepatectomy performed, or a concurrent intraoperative ablation. And so it appears as though multiple elements representing more complex disease did appear to be completed open. Um, as I mentioned, we also analyzed some specific trends. We found that while both MIS and open partial hepatectomy over the course of the study period did increase in frequency progressively per year, um, this was notably higher for um, uh, patients undergoing an open resection. For the sake of time, I'll summarize some additional trends. We found that anatomic and concurrent partial resections appeared to be stable over the time period. Um, neoadjuvant therapy did increase in frequency, but only for uh, open resections. So we're, there were some notable uh, limitations to this study. This is, of course, derived from the ACS NISQIP database, which has inherent limitations um, this audience is likely familiar with. However, we do believe that some important conclusions can begin to be driven from this um, analysis. Notably, there was an increase in total hepatectomy over the time period, which appears to be driven by an increase in partial hepatectomy as opposed to anatomic resections. MIS approaches do, to be, uh, do appear to be increasing, but these are selectively implemented for less technically demanding disease characteristics. And finally, we believe that this data is a call to action for further development and dissemination of MIS uh, techniques for more complex resections. I want to thank my co-authors and sages again.